So now that I've got that pin in and it's locked, let me spin the line head off. Let's put this off to the side. And I'm going to just, no big deal, that piece fell off. Oh, i got to put my head back on. And I spin the line head or the blade on. What's going on here? Do you hear that? That doesn't sound right. Not at all. That doesn't sound right. I can't get it off of there. You want to know why? Did you hear that noise? Maybe if you're out in the grass in the lawn, you probably didn't hear that noise when it hit the ground. This sucker right here, the thrust plate is out. So no longer do I have this locking tab that allows me to take the head off. This also acts as a bearing between the head and the gearbox. So what's going to happen is I'm going to fire this baby up and I'm going to try to run it and it's going to tighten up and it's going to be jammed and the engine can't overcome the load. So you're going to go to take the trimmer head off and it won't come off because again, there's nothing to lock into. So we have this little trick that we've created here at Carl's. This might be a little bit harder for you to recreate at home. There's a couple ways you can fix this. One is to come see your dealer and pay them some money to do it. The other would be if this was a full trimmer, you could pull the motor, the engine off, and you could hold the shaft at the top with a pair of vice grips. What we've done here, we've made this funky little tool. So let's take the gearbox off, just like so. And we have an old trimmer shaft here that I bent into an L and I'm going to drop it in the gearbox like so. And that I can now act as a lock. So I'm going to hold that tight, right? And I'm going to spin it clockwise to take off the head. Problem solved. But let's avoid that problem in the first place. I only show you this because I want to avoid you guys having the pain of driving into your dealership and saying, help, my head won't spin. So if you hear a noise when you're changing heads, it might be the thrust plate hitting the ground. Before you ever put a line head on, make sure that that thrust plate is in place. And now. Hey, this is Josh from Carl's Mower and Saw. Thanks for watching our videos. We're proud of the fact that we've been serving you with the best in outdoor power equipment since 1990. We're glad that you had an opportunity to sit down, watch our videos, learn something about an exciting new product that we have, something that interests you for your property, or really how to use your equipment to the best of its ability. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, whether it's on Instagram or YouTube. We're excited to share more information with you. See you soon.